okay we've got a wee quick video this morning just because i tried this with my higher class and nothing would work so now we've got it working hopefully going to be able to show you this in 30 seconds or so this is graphs of charging and discharging a capacitor graphs of the voltage across the capacitor and the current okay let's have a wee look so we've got a battery battery is connected via a variable resistor and an ammeter to a capacitor okay, that's the charging side of the circuit and then through a two-way switch we can move the switch to the right and that same capacitor will discharge through the ammeter through this second variable resistor and the CRO the CRO is there to monitor the voltage across the capacitor so First things first, I'm going to discharge it. Let's empty it out. I move the switch to the right. The capacitor is empty. So my spot on my CRO is at the bottom of the screen. That's representing zero volts. Now, as I charge up the capacitor, it's a 1000 microfarad capacitor. As I charge it up through this variable resistor, a one kilo ohm variable resistor, Let's watch what happens to the trace on the screen. So I'm ready to charge it up. And... There we go. I'm now going to empty it out by switching across to the right-hand side. Watch the trace. I'm going to show charging and discharging. These are the voltage graphs. Charging. Discharging. Again. Okay, what about the current? What happens to the current when it's charging? Watch this little ammeter here. Here's the current when it's charging. Maximum falls to zero. And then when it's discharging, have a guess. Watch, this is it discharging. So when it's charging, the current is instantly at a maximum and then it gradually falls to zero. Watch. And then when the capacitor discharges, the current flows in the opposite direction. Off the capacitor, falls to zero again. As charging and discharging of the capacitor. Oh, other thing. If we want to change the rate at which it charges up, we just need to alter the resistance. Or if we want to alter the rate at which it discharges, we just need to alter the resistance. Bigger values of C and R mean longer charge times. Smaller values of C and R, shorter charge times. There you go. Have a great day now.